Hi everyone, this is Pasha. I want to show you how to create custom fields in Google's Looker Studio or previously known as Data Studio using regular expressions. Here in this dashboard, I have a simple table showing data from three different accounts, San Francisco, Philadelphia, and Los Angeles. These data are for some paid campaigns on Google Ads and my campaigns include branded keyword campaigns, non-brand campaigns, and also some campaigns for competitor keywords in each account. So I would like to add a custom field based on the name of my campaigns to separate data for branded and non-branded campaigns, and also another custom field to simplify the names of my accounts. To add a new custom field, you can do it from two ways. On the top menu, under resource, click on manage added data sources. Here you will see the list of all the data sources that uh, are connected to this dashboard. There is only one here, Google Ads. Uh, on the actions, click on edit. Here are all the default fields that is connected from Google Ads to Data Studio and here you can add, see this option for add a field. This is how I can add a new field. Or another way that you can see that screen is on the right section in the data section click on add a field. Here you can add a new field and by clicking on all fields you will see all the current fields. So I'm going to add a new field first for the names of my account. As you see, the, name of, uh, the names of my accounts are US-Sanfran, US-Philadelphia, US-Greater Los Angeles. Because this is dashboard is a, a report, usually you want to show it to other stakeholders, sometimes clients. You want to simplify the names, uh, make it more readable. So I'm going to create a custom field for account names and change the uh, simplify these names i click on add a field to create custom fields based on the names of your campaigns accounts uh, your names uh, from uh, any dimension uh, you need to use the case uh, regex expression i'm going to type the expression for you I start with case when this is the important part regex uh, you have some options I'm going to uh, select regex match and here I need to select and uh, write the name of the field that currently exists account name or descriptions I type ACC it gives me all the fields that start with that with those letters and I'm selecting the first one account name and descriptions then a comma and then I add uh, I write uh, ba based on what fields uh, I want to change what names I want to change here I want to say that if the name of my accounts if the name of the accounts is us san fran then write it as san francisco you need to put in on the quotation mark once again to review this one uh, I start with case. I say when the account name is contains this word the US San Fran, then instead of San, US San Fran, write U San Francisco. I'm not going to end the re regular expression, the regex, right now because I have three more accounts. Again, the same way, I'm going to copy from the top one and just change the letters. 
This time, if the name of the account is us-philadelphia, then I want it to be shown as Philadelphia. And for the last one, if the name of my account is us-greater Los Angeles, just show it as Los Angeles. Uh, I'm going to review to make sure that uh, the names of my accounts that I've read, written are the same as what I'm seeing here. Accounts name US San Fran, account name US Philadelphia, and US Greater Los Angeles. And when you are done with your expression, with your condition, just close it with typing end. As you see, I have this green check mark shows saying, saying that there is not any error in my formula. Now I need to give it a name. I give I give it uh, the name of as account for this field. Uh, I name it as account, and I'm going to save it. After I save it, here I click on all fields. I want to create another field based on the campaign names. This is my new field. As you see, it has a FX, meaning that is a formula. Add a field, another custom field or calculated field. I'm going to use the same process for campaign names to separate them based on branded and non-branded. When regex match campaign name contains uh, these are based on your naming standards. What kind of names you use for your campaigns for all my branded campaigns i've used the word branded in campaign name so i type branded here i put a space at the beginning because i use i have used this branded word in the middle of the campaign name and you need to start with dot uh, you better to start with dot and end it with dot so it tells the data studio that there might be some names before and some letters before and after this word that I have typed here. And a star at the end. Then show it as brand. Similarly, For non-brand campaigns, I have used the word conversion in all non-branded campaigns. This dot and the star that I add help at the beginning and at the end help me to make sure that uh, I just type just some parts of the uh, campaign name some part of the name I don't need to type the whole full name that's why I'm using this dot and the star at the first and at the end of the uh, word you don't always need to use that but I usually use them uh, to make sure that my formula works I also forgot to use a star here for branded. Okay. It seems correct to me. And then showing it as generic campaigns or non brand, whatever you want to, uh, to show there in your dashboard. Also, I have some competitor campaigns. Again, uh, easier way is just copy the top. From top row, if it can't 
contains competitor in the campaign name then show it as competitors I have some more campaign names too for other types of campaigns that I'm running but I'm not going to use them right now I'm just as an example I'm just going to split it based on brand non-brand and competitors campaigns and now I'm going to end my reg regular expression and i'm going to give it a name for campaign name or campaign group <coughs> and save it I'm going back to all fields I added two fields let me make sure once again for accounts I forgot to use the star and dot at the end of my account names here I'm adding them and update my field all right everything's ready i click on done and let's test these new fields first i'm going to add a drop down here from insert i add a drop down list here for account name the new field that i created it was called account As you see, it's being shown as San Francisco, Philadelphia, and Los Angeles. Also, I'm going to add another drop down for the other custom field that I just created. Uh, we named it as campaign group. So in control field, I type the name of the custom field campaign group. As you see, now I have three options, brand, non-brand, competitors. This null is for some other campaign names that I didn't use it in my formula, in my regex formula. That's why it shows as null. Uh, now let me simplify my uh, table. I'm going to remove some of the metrics. Just having cost, impression, and clicks. I can't even use these custom fields in my table. For example, instead of account name field, I want to show account field. Here, uh, when I select campaign group as brand, my table gets updated and shows data for only my branded campaigns. Or if I select non-brand generic, it shows data for non-brand campaigns. I can also create a new table and use uh, that campaign group in my new table. Selecting all. So I can see data for non-brand competitors and branded campaigns in this table. This regex match, regex expression, reg regular expression has a lot of use cases in data studio depending on the kind of data that you want to show report. 